What's up guys, this is Jeremy from the Achievement Hunter community. I am back in Borderlands 2 doing some Wildlife Preserve Easter Eggs. So uh, these are going to be Easter Eggs in the level Wildlife Preserve. Uh, the first one's going to be a Lion King Easter Egg. Uh, when you come to this area, that's the Easter Egg right there, I'm going to show the map in a second. This area in the Wildlife Preserve, right here, you will find a Skag that is shooting explosive balls at you. And uh, I'm going to go back and show him right there. And his name is Toomba. T-U-M-B-A-A. -A. And uh, there is also a giant stalker with a very big shield named Pomone. So Pomone and Toomba are here. Pomone spawns a lot less than Toomba. Toomba's here all the time. Pomone, I spawned about five times in single player in this area. I came back and he never showed up. So... Tumbo will always be here. Pomona I've only seen while playing co-op with my friends. But uh, they're very high level creatures. And uh, I'll show you that since they're kind of so difficult to beat and they're pretty high level that when you kill them, they actually have a possibility to drop some pretty good stuff. You'll see that uh, I shot Tumba there and he dropped an orange weapon for me. So that's a fun little Lion King Easter egg there. Clearly a reference to Timon and Pumba, but they're Pomone and Tumba. Now... The next thing I'm going to show you are Mordecai's Hidden Stashes. Uh, this isn't much of an Easter egg, it's more of a guide. But uh, Mordecai has three Hidden Stashes. I'll show you. The first one is uh, you go up on this bridge here and jump onto this big mushroom. And then over onto this ledge. And this is the first stash over here. If you find all three of them, it gives you a badass rank. So uh, this is just a guide on how to complete this challenge. Uh, the next one is when you... Right when you jump off of this place, you're going to see a waterfall to your left. Just jump down and go through the waterfall, and that's going to be your second one. So those two are pretty simple. Uh, the first one's kind of out of the way. The second one's pretty easy to spot. The third one is uh, down. It's in the same field, but it's down at the other end of that big, long bridge. Or the road, or whatever you want to call it. And you just go through this little doorway here. And there's your third stash. So you get your badass rank, you complete that challenge, and, uh, you know, hopefully you get some good loot. And the last easter egg I'm going to show you, spoiler alert, so don't say that I didn't warn you. You are going to, this one I call the nostalgia easter egg. You're going to head to the area where you fight Bloodwing in the uh, wildlife preserve. And after you beat Bloodwing, and you exit or leave the wildlife preserve and come back here, Bloodwing will not respawn. He's not a respawnable boss. But, there will be another creature here. There will be the Son of Mothrak. And, uh, as a lot of us know, or if you played Borderlands 1, Mothrak was a boss in Borderlands 1. That was probably one of the toughest bosses to beat in the game. He was super difficult. And this is his son. Uh, he doesn't level scale in the first playthrough, so he's actually not that tough. And, uh, he doesn't really look like Mothrak. Uh, he looks more like a moth than Mothrak did. He's got big ears, he's got four wings. But uh, that's a really cool Easter egg. Uh, I was really happy to find that one. So go check him out. It's pretty cool. He just disappeared there. And uh, check back for more videos at Achievement Hunter. Thanks for watching.